Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And when your favourite rapper is talking about Trident, he doesn't mean the nuclear submarine defence system going around the country protecting us. He's talking about a special department of the police that only focus on gangsters. And when Trident are onto you, you're not in for an easy ride. Dion Williams, 34, from Kent. He has been sentenced to 10 years for possession of a Colt self-loading pistol and 49 compatible rounds of ammunition. It was an intelligence-led operation by the Metropolitan Trident Police and Area Crime Command. The police describe Williams as a career criminal. There's cases he's involved in going back to 2007 and he's been under Trident observation several times due to his links to armed robbery gangs in the south of England. To understand the backstory about this, you have to go back to 2009 in the pool area of England. Two men were given lengthy jail terms when a masked gunman fled empty-handed after a security guard tried to deliver cash to a NatWest in Haven Road, Camford Cliffs on April the 16th last year, so that was 2008. The bungled lunchtime raid sparked a police manhunt across southern England involving several forces. A mobile phone found in the Vauxhall Corsa used during the attempted robbery showed that Tony Turner had topped it up the day before when it was when he was meant to have been behind the wheel of the stolen Audi. Investigations led police to ar arrest Dion Williams on April the 18th, 2008. The flying squad at Scotland Yard spotted Turner driving along the A133 from Clacton towards Wheelie in Essex in the stolen Audi. The car stopped at a hotel where Turner and his partner had booked a room inside, items including £5,000 in £20 notes and a false passport. The search of the Audi uncovered two handguns, ammunition, balaclava, two sets of false plates, along with a satellite navigation system. Turner, who was 28 at this time, was of no fixed abode, as most career criminals are, because they don't want the police going to the house. Admitted conspiracy to rob and conspiracy to possess firearms with intent to commit an indictable offence. So conspiracy on that means he wasn't really caught in his possession. So conspiracies, they can convict you now without even you being near it if they can just link you to it uh, enough to convict a jury convince a jury then you're going to prison sometimes for life it was also linked to a series of other robberies in hampshire 2008 red hill and surrey in may 2008 they was jailed for 16 years Dion Williams from Ramsgate, Kent, received a 10-year sentence after pleading guilty to the robbery and possession of an imitation firearm. So back in 2008, he received a 10-year sentence back in 2008. And fast forward to 2017, Trident officers conducted a surveillance operation in the Ramsgate area of Kent. It resulted in armed officers from the Kent Constabulary stopping two vehicles on the M2 motorway, Maidstone, travelling back to London. This resulted in the recovery of a Colt self-loading pistol with 49 rounds of ammunition. Forensic analysis connected Williams. He was identified and he was wanted in connection with this, but he had left the UK at this time. So Williams was on licence. He'd been away in 2008 for the robbery down south. He would have been on licence at this time. So when he knew he was going to get arrested for that, he fled the country. He returned to the country in September 2018. Williams was arrested in Kent shortly after returning to the UK. He was charged with firearm offences the following day, where he later appeared in Maidstone Crown Court, having pleaded not guilty to all charges. And this is another thing as well. Some people think he might have got caught or he messed up. Sometimes it's being on the run is a very stressful thing. It's the worst thing in the world to not just be able to go, not to be able to be secure, to be safe, do you know what I mean? To be able to just go and see your family whenever you feel like it, having to leave the country, do you know what I mean? So a lot of these criminals end up coming back after 20 years, a couple of years, and they just get tired of being on the run. It, it, it happens a lot. Following the two-week trial, Williams was sentenced to a maximum possible tariff of 10 years. He was found guilty. The court heard of his involvement in the breakout in 2008 
embarking magistrates court, kicking a man out of custody at barking magistrates uh, with a firearm. And he was also connected to a, a robbery, an armed robbery in Dorset. He was convicted in relation to both of them crimes too. And he was still on license when he committed the offences that he's just been convicted for today. So Williams' sentence doesn't actually begin until 2020, so next year. So because he was on license, he, have to, he has to serve the rest of his current sentence. And then he will begin his 10-year sentence for the firearm possession. The detective in the case, Glenn Butler, described it as a complex investigation driven by the wealth of intelligence secured by Trident officers. It resulted in the organised criminals involved in the illegal supply and possession of firearms and ammunition being targeted. The firearms and ammunition we believe was destined for the streets of London and thanks to the work of the team they have now been removed. I discovered that Tony Turner, who was involved in the pool armed robbery with him back in 2009, was actually arrested again for an assault. Uh, na by now, he was 36 at this time. And he was located in the Dagenham area, but this happened in Romford. And he was arrested by Essex Police. A man who attacked a police officer and stole his car. Tony Turner was approached by an officer after he was spotted near the scene of a BMW which had crashed into a hedge in Chigwell. After undergoing a breathalyzer test, he lashed out, headbutting the police officer and punching him in the head several times. Turner then jumped in his car, which had a police dog inside, and drove off. Essex police said the car was later found in Frinton Road, Ramford, with the police dog inside unharmed. I don't think anyone's playing games with a police dog, come on. The officer suffered minor injuries in the attack in 2015 and received uh, hospital treatment. Turner had no driving licence or insurance and was arrested three months later trying to flee to France, just like his friend Dion Williams did. He was jailed for two and a half years and banned from driving for eight and a half years at Chelmsford Crown Court. So Turner was still as involved in his lifestyle as Dion was even all these years later. These guys, as the police had described them, as career criminals. So it's, it's, um, it's a shame, really, because it's a long time and it's the best part of their lives they're going to spend behind bars. So hope when they come out that they make better decisions and try and sort their lives out because it doesn't say if there's any kids or whatever, but they've obviously been through some crazy experiences and their story is, is bizarre. I do find connections with them and other things. So there's some big robberies that I've seen them connected to, like a lot of... Of robberies where their names have been brought up by the police i'd like to hear what people's thoughts are on this please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and please don't forget to check out the latest news on our website follow us on instagram at www.scarcitystudios.co.uk